Hey everyone, it's John. Welcome back to a new, another product review with me. Today's product review is interesting because I have two products that have each other's names on it. In my right hand, I have Sour Patch Kids, but they are Crush Fruit Mix. Crush, of course, being a fruit flavored soda. And in my left hand, I have Crush Sour Patch Berry Flavored Soda. I've done at least one other review that was similar to this with Pringles that were flavored like ramen, and ramen that had the Pringles flavors in them. These are very interesting to me, um, and I, I hope more products come out like this because I really like doing these type of crossover reviews. And I was thinking that it has to have like some type of special name to it. Like you have the, the, the challenge videos, you have the mukbang videos. This one has to be something like uh, two ideas that came up with my, in my mind were like uh, Snackception, you know, like the movie Inception where if you have a thing inside of a thing, but this you have like a crossover, or you have like a, a palindrome review where it's the same thing reversed. Crush, Sour Patch, Sour Patch, Crush. Same review, we're gonna do them together and let you know how I feel about these. Leave a comment down below if you have a cool name uh, to call these type of reviews. I don't know how many of them are going to be in the future, but I really like doing them anytime I can. Um, if you remember before, I did the uh, Mountain Dew flavored Doritos. There did exist a Doritos flavored Mountain Dew, but it was never bottled. It was only given out in samples at like an event. So it would be impossible for me to ever get that, even if somehow that still existed. Let's go ahead and start with the Sour Patch Crush Candy. Shout out to my elder sister, Sarah. Sour Patch is one of her favorites, if not her favorite candy. And I bet you if I went over to her house right now, I could find some. Sarah, have you had the Sour Patch Crush flavors yet? Um, oh, I ripped through part of the, the thing here. But there's orange, grape, pineapple, and strawberry. So each one should taste like that version of Crush. I'm going to start with orange because I think when you think of Crush, orange is probably the flavor most people think of first. Yeah, that normal level of Sour Patch sweet and sourness to it. And the orange, it does taste different than like their regular orange flavor. Um, next I'm going to go with grape. I think grape Crush is my favorite of the Crush flavors. And again, tastes like grape, but it tastes like a soda grape, if you will. All right, let's try strawberry. That one's good. You can definitely tell it's strawberry and not cherry or fruit punch or a generic red flavor. Definitely strawberry. And lastly, we have pineapple. That was all right. With probably the least fruit flavored one of the four. I've definitely had other pineapple things that taste way more pineapple. -y. Now I'm going to take all four at once as like a fruit salad. These crush sour patch kids are delicious. One weird thing I had all four in my mouth at the same time. I felt like I tasted more pineapple than when I just had the pineapple by itself. Kind of strange if you ask me. <clears throat> Maybe the first one I had didn't have as much flavoring in the mix. I don't know. Delicious. If you like Sour Patch Kids, you should try these ones. They taste just like the flavors from the Crush Soda they represent. Now let's try this. Crush Sour Patch Berry. So, 
I assume this is supposed to taste like the blue Sour Patch Kid. And I think blue is actually a relatively new flavor. I think with like within the last five years, blue was added. So I think I remember seeing advertisements. I chopped off part of my finger a couple days ago, so that's why I have this here, and I can't really grip the top of the bottle with my whole hand. Mm. Definitely a blue raspberry aroma. With cough medicine too. So, hoping this has some sourness to it. And I'm going to look at the ingredients to see if it has any like citric acid or malic acid. Carbonated water, corn syrup, citric acid. There you go. The citric acid, what this uses in your sugar, corn starch, tartaric acid. Citric acid. No tartaric, just citric acid in this one. Yeah, it smells like Robitussin. Let's give it a taste. Yeah, it definitely has some sourness to it. Of course, it's not as sour as eating a real Sour Patch Kid. But, like, compared to regular Crushes, I don't know if Crush has a blue raspberry one besides this one. But this is definitely more sour than any Crush of any other variety that I've ever tasted before. <laughs> it does have a sort of medicinal smell. Got a sort of medicinal flavor to it as well. It doesn't make it bad. Sometimes that flavor actually works, which is weird. But if you're someone who really is, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not allergic to, but uh, if you're opposed to a medicinal Robitussin NyQuil-ish sort of like flavor this probably isn't the one for you uh, but if that's something you don't mind or maybe weirdly enjoy then the Crushed Sour Patch Kid is something you'll probably enjoy as well uh, this is uh, way better than the last couple hmm, it's better than at least one of the Mountain Dews that I've tasted lately <laughs> It's probably actually better than the Voodoo one as well. Even though I like the Voodoo one, the recent one. Crush, Sour Patch Berry. Sour Patch Crush. Fruit Mix. The only one thing left that I need to do here is put some Sour Patches right in the drink. We'll do one red. Ooh, that fits up nice. A yellow. An orange. And a grape. You can hear it fizzing. You can see how much it fizzed up there. It's still fizzing pretty good. You can see from the bottoms where they are. It's kind of probably like a sort of like a Mentos Diet Coke effect, but not as bad. Um. But you can definitely see the bubbles just keep on coming up through from that. Let's give it a taste now. Actually, I think it's a little bit more sour now. And oddly, the medicinal flavor seems to have gone away. It smells more like the candy. And it tastes less like Robitussin. I think I have created something here that is better than the sum of his parts. Sour Patch Crush 
crush sour patch throw some of these in inside here and really for me I just did four one of each flavor and it's, it's much better I imagine if I dumped all of these in here it would be very sweet and kind of probably waste because it'd be hard to get these out plus if you ever had a uh, gummies that have been soaking in something for a while they kind of have like a gross feeling um brief tangent here i once made jello shots and i put swedish fish in them the point was to make it kind of look like it, the fish were swimming in like an aquarium type environment and when i they were finished and i ate them the swedish fish had kind of like it wasn't there was no chew in it anymore it was kind of just like a i don't want to say sludgy but it was more of the same consistency as the jello instead of a gummy we'll say that and not in a good way but this so far is good You know what? Here's a free idea, Crush. You should sell these in gas stations, and they should come with like a little, like kid size, uh, fun size pack of Sour Patch Kids, just like glued onto the side. So that way you can open them, put them in there. It's a free idea. This is really good. Am I? Yeah. Blue tongue. This is good. Those are good. Together they're great. I suggest that you try either one of them if you get the opportunity. But the drink is actually, I think, a little better than the, the candy. Could be that I'm just kind of thirsty right now. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. This uh, snackception, if you will. Crush, Sour Patch, Sour Patch Crush, Crush Sour Patch with Sour Patch Crush, and that's the video. Subscribe. I'm not asking, I'm telling. Until next time, bye.